This is just a quick video about modifying um, shortcuts, creating your own personalized hotkeys. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Options. If I can find this actually, here it is, Customize Shortcuts. And underneath here you basically see the menu and then the tool toolbar menu. Um, and you can come in here and customize anything that you want. I, I'm going to go into the tools. I'm going to come down to the weld tools and by default the weld tools don't have any shortcuts assigned to them you can see the XOR weld that I've been talking about I've assigned control one and um, I never use the AND weld um, maybe 99% of the time I'm just using all of the other welds I do use the basic weld all of the time so what I'm going to do is I want to assign a shortcut to this one so I'm going to click and click in this uh, command description box and then I'm just going to go ahead and select the key combination that I want. In my case, I'm going to select Control 2. And when, as soon as I do that, you can see the command description um, is automatically updated. And then I have to click Assign. And then I'm going to hit Apply. Now that I've done that, if I go and create a couple of objects, I'm going to select Alt-S to toggle the fill. And if I highlight these and then hit Control-2, um, the basic weld is performed. Now, there is one other one I want to modify. It's never made sense to me. If I come out to, if I come out to a range and look at Break Path, by default, Break Path is Control-J. That just doesn't make sense to me. I never remember that one. So I'm going to customize that one so that I can... Uh, use it more often. Anyway, so a range, Break Path. You can see Control J is here. I'm going to take, highlight that, hit Remove, come down here and select the Command Description box or the Shortcut Key box. I'm going to, go, going to do Control B as in Break. It's telling me it conflicts with the assigned to Back. I always Control Z. I don't use Back, so that's okay. So I've got to go and probably modify that. Um, so Control B. I'm going to assign it, apply it. Now, what we have to do is uh, test it. I don't know if by default, when you have a conflict and you make the assignment, if it automatically uh, deletes it from the old assignment and your new assignment only is the one that takes place or, or what. So anyway, what I did right here is I just um, did an XOR weld on this. And now I'm going to highlight this and do Control B and if I do Alt S, it appears that my new command has taken effect, my new assignment. Now, in addition to customizing shortcuts, I'm going to customize. <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and customize my toolbars. So what I'm going to do is come up to, oh, where is it? Options. No, sorry, View. Toolbars and say customize. Now what I'm going to do is I, I end up creating this uh, mirroring one. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and select uh, workspace. You, you can create a brand new toolbar if you want. Um, but uh, what I want to do is just customize what I have here. So let me see system. I'm looking for a particular toolbar. And the reason why I am is I, I'll show you here in a second, operation. Okay, so operation, they have a vertical mirror, which comes in handy. Um, I also want to add the horizontal mirror. I don't know why they don't do that in the first place, but um, if I go to H, here's the horizontal mirror. I add that, and if I close that, and close that, You'll notice that. Let me go uh, select. Let me go create an object real quick. Okay, I welded all of these pieces together. Um, you now have this vertical mirror and horizontal mirror. You can sit here and and swap these things back and forth. Um, if I duplicate this piece, and I want to do the vertical and horizontal mirror and then uh, I can take everything combine them do whatever you need to 
Um, I thought that was kind of useful. Um, when I went and reinstalled my Torchmate, I uh, never went and readjusted this toolbar. And uh, I found ways around it uh, using the horizontal mirror, just flipping it 180 degrees with the rotate up here. Uh, but it's kind of nice to have it right there. Anyway, hope you find it useful.